Ooh, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event. And the time is time for the Intercontinental time to be on the line and up for grabs. And here comes the Intercontinental champion, Rick Acid. I tell you what, C. Kyle, and I know we said this during the uh, Hadouken Evan Bourne match, but I'm going to say it again right now. I think what Rick Acid did to. Uh, I think what Rick Acid did to Dane Jampon, I applaud him for. I think what he did was wise. I think what he did was good. He showed his path to WCW. He showed that WCW was not going to back down from a legend. Or, 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 or what he called him, a so called legend. Yeah, but I mean, in the process, you know, Rick Acid, you know, I, you know. I disagree with what you said about him, Cork. I disagree that you think that what he did was a good thing. I think what he did was a terrible thing. I think he had no business uh, attacking Daniel Jampon. He had no business being in the arena that night. Hey, you know what, C. Carter? You have your opinion, I have mine. I commend Rick Ashley for, for it. I salute him for it. He did a very good job, in my opinion. Well, there's a whole lot of people that, that might disagree with you, Corky. And here comes one of them. Here comes... I guess he's a close friend of Danny Jackpots. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes TX3. And here he goes. I tell you what, I'm surprised to see TX3 here tonight because TX3 had a hellacious, I mean, hellacious experience at the Civil War. Not easy getting a rocking moment three times on the steel steps. Oops, indeed. You're right. I'm surprised to see him walking here tonight after after the time that he had after Civil War. But he's here and he wants to defend Danny Jampon's honor. But I tell you what, see, guys, you see why right? he wants to defend Danny Jampon's honor. He wants to prove to everyone why he believes that uh, he's going to be the new Air Canada champion. He came up short for the Cruiserweight title. Maybe tonight will be his night. And if not tonight, you can pay him a bet that TX3 will be in the Battle Royal, in the Battle Bowl, in the Battle Bowl at Bad Blood. And he probably might win that one to get a World Heavyweight title shot. And the sky's the limit. I tell you, Rusty Tyler. And there's the bill. The matchup is on the way. And here we go. I tell you, Rusty Tyler. And at the Battle, and at Bad Blood, Battle Bowl, 20 men go in the matchup. Whoever, only one guy will survive. And the person who survives will get a title shot against the World Heavyweight Champion or the WCW Champion, whichever one he chooses. So definitely, in my opinion, definitely. And wait a minute, we got to we got to go up and a quick kick out. I'll tell you what, this is getting really interesting. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, back at the battle bowl, somebody's going to win the battle bowl. Somebody is going to become victorious. Somebody is going to get a time shot. And now there's another head scissors. And right now, we got in the... Oh, man, Tex3 kicks me out to the side of the head. And now Tex3 has the momentum now. Tex3 has to believe deep down, Corky. Man, he has a chance every kind of any kind of chance. This might be it. What a DDT! Oh man, you're right. This could be it. We guys need to do something. Tex three man. Oh, what a DDT! Man, oh my goodness. And our Tex three man has one. Oh wait a minute. We got it. Oh my God. Oh man, did you hear that? He called him. He hit that for a hard thing. And now we got some now doing a lot of TS3. We got some house momentum. And no way me TS3 now has momentum. This thing continues to go back and forth. But tell you what, see, Carla, right now this game is interesting. Right now, Rick Acid, you know, Rick Acid can be on the ring while he cares because remember, he can't lose that turn on the count out. And now Rick Acid now has some momentum over TS3. We got some comes in the ring. Now what's, what's Rick Acid doing? Rick Acid now. Watch your head. Oh, I want to get this out of here. And now Rick Acid has momentum. That might be the momentum he needs to come. Look at this. Oh, what a thing it is. Rick Acid now. Climbs up to the top rope. Oh, boy. Rick Acid. He what he have in mind. Oh, he trying to steal him up. I tell you what. You know, you really got to like Rick Acid, see kind of. Rick Acid is showing why he's the Intercontinental Champion. T.S. Game with the drop kick. And you know, T.S. 3. You know, he's not feeling away that easy. And like I said, and oh man, that DDT. Like I said, I'm surprised how, 
I'm surprised CTX3 here tonight. The main reason I'm surprised is CTX3 because he survived. Because he went through hell in that last man standing match. Mm -hmm. Against Jeremy Walker. He went through hell. And now, TX3 and all that is today. Oh man. Right to the back of T right to the back of Rick Eyes' hand. And now Rick Eyes has momentum. No wait a minute. TS3 reverses it. TS3, what's he about to do? Oh man. Oh, Rick Eyes turns it around and delivers the clothesline. Oh man. He got all the right clotheslines, he got it. And now he got it. No way that TX3 reverse it goes to the back. TX3 is gonna try to get to the back of the head. Oh man. Oh wait a minute, Rick Eyes! Oh man! See how quick momentum can squeeze, he kind of, see how quick, you know, you think you got on one end, and then next thing you know, momentum just turned the other, whole other direction. Oh, and again on TS3's arm. Oh, man, he's working on that arm, he kind of, he's working on that arm, he's picking up on uh, the uh, anatomy. He's doing a very good job. And now we got to see now. Oh, we got Walla! We got Walla! And a kick out! Oh man, what a huge kick out! And we got to see, oh man, a kick to the side of TS3's head! We got to climb back up to the top wall. We got to see, oh, look at the fire and close line! Shades of Flying Brian Pillman, he called the late Flying Brian Pillman. And oh man, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, it's the Celtic Cross! Oh man! Well, I tell you what, he called him. Rick Aston laid out the challenge to Danny Jackpot to show it to WCW. If Danny Jackpot shows it to WCW, this might be a way to him. This might be a way to him. Oh man, that's it, Reflux. Oh man. That's it, Reflux. He got all that acid Reflux, he called him. TS3 gotta be out like a lion. And he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. Oh man, he's putting Professor Valley fighting for the title. With the acid reflux, it's all for the rough. We can count the doomsday. And Rick Acid is still the Intercontinental Champion. And I salute him for his honor. Disagree with me if you must. Disagree with me if you have to, feel free. But in my opinion, Rick Acid show why he is a part of the NCW. And as far as I'm concerned, he's not the future legend, he's the legend. And in my opinion, if he faces off against Danny Jackpot, he's going to send Danny Jackpot to every time at home. Folks, we're going to move to the console. Stay tuned!